Okay, so a lot of people ask me, how do I get the nameless widget in a lot of the setups that I create? So I figured I would do a dedicated video showing you guys how I do it. Now I am using an application called Clear Spaces, available from the App Store. I'll put the link in the description. Basically the purpose of this app is to make an invisible widget. The app does not have a name. It's actually pr uh, pretty cool how it works. So its intention is to make the space of where there is a widget invisible and it will blend into your wallpaper. But that's what I've used to make a nameless widget and it's kind of slick how it works. Now, I apologize, I've been in the fishing again lately, so that's why I have a fish on my home screen. And the image that I'm gonna use is another fish, I just wanted to change it up. Uh, but this is the image that I want in the widget, and I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. There's a, there's a little bit of legwork, um, but I think it's a cool effect. And of course, there are other applications like Photo Widget that allow you to just put a photo there, but the downside is you will have the name of the widget and I like how clean it looks without it. So um, what I'm gonna be using is a application called Pixelmator. And uh, this allows you to basically Photoshop on your device. That's pretty much what it is. You can see this is how I created the one I'm using now, but I'll, I'll do one real quick for you guys uh, just so you can see how I do it. So actually what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna back up and I'm gonna do plus. And when you create a new image with Pixelmator, uh, it will give you landscape or portrait and the dimensions of these are to, this, to your screen. So portrait is 1287 by 2778. That is the pixel dimensions on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. This does matter. There are other applications that are free that you can do this with. I just like using Pixelmator because that's what I have. So I'm gonna do portrait. This base canvas is the dimension of my screen. So this, if I use it as a wallpaper, will be perfect sized. So what I like to do next uh, is just take a quick screenshot of my home screen so I can see where the widget's going to be. And what we're gonna do is actually hop back into um, Pixelmator here. I'm going to click on plus and I'm going to go ahead and add the screenshot. You can see the screenshot fits perfectly within the canvas. And the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and add this image of this fish. And one thing I like to do, uh, let's see if I can remember how to do this. We go into here and we can change the opacity so I can kind of see where it's overlaying with the widget of where I want it to make sure it's going to fit properly. So honestly, if I put it just like this, that is exactly, I think, where I want it to be lined up within that widget space. Try and get a little bit more centered. I think that's pretty good. Then I like to go back into the paintbrush here, go back to style, turn the opacity back up. And honestly, what I could do is I could just delete that. And what I can do is export this. We'll just do share. And I'll just click on save image at the bottom. So now I have that photo in here and you can see that's basically all it is. So now what I can do is I can click on clear spaces and it lets you set the wallpaper for light mode or dark mode. Now I'm gonna show you quickly the intention of clear spaces so you understand what's going on. What you do is you go to a blank home screen page, take a screenshot and then use that in clear spaces and it will make the widget invisible and it should update and there you go as you can see it looks like there is no widget there so basically what i'm doing is just manipulating that space with an image like this that i quickly threw together and then it basically makes a nameless customized widget and there's a bunch of different things you could do with this different images you know you don't have to have the um, this size, you could have the small sized widget or you could do a large sized widget. It really depends on what you want to do with it. But I just thought that this was a cool combination of applications on iOS 16 that you can kind of combine to make a custom looking nameless widget. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll, uh, like I said, I'll leave all the links for everything in the description. 
Uh, but if you did enjoy it, definitely throw a thumbs up. This has been IDM, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.